be damned. The tourist. In the flesh. Oh, stories about you been buzzing all over the bayou. Word has even reached Nola. <laughs> yeah. But, if the city's where you're headed, well, I suspect your story is just beginning. Here's a friendly warning. One lone soul to another. The dead ain't the only thing to be fearing in the Big Easy. The tower on one side, looming on the horizon, high and mighty, spouting their all-for-one ideals, and shunning any folks who don't be towing the line. Making everyone's skin crawl with their horror show tactics. And the powder keg that's gonna make the whole city blow? The reserve. <laughs> I can tell by the spark that jumped up in your eyes that you've heard the legend. Disaster relief supplies from when the flood to end all floods hit in an old military bunker. Never distributed to the people because the government didn't know its ass from a hole in the ground. And before they could figure it out, the dead started walking. Oh, all that grub, all those meds, mm. military grade weapons, and ammo to boot. Untouched, hidden. And guess who's close to unearthing the mother load? That's right. You're looking at him. <laughs> but this broken body has seen better days. And I need to get after it real quick before the fools get wise. So, if you find yourself itching to step out of the bayou and help out an old man, well, you can find me in the cemetery where I'm holed up. There would be a 50-50 split in the future. Ah, I ain't greedy. And I ain't no fool. Give it a ponder, tourist. You just might be what this sinking city needs to keep its head above water. But then again, <laughs> maybe you're the type to pull the whole godforsaken place under.
A patrol had a scrape with a couple of reclaimed in Old Town yesterday. Cyrus got messed up pretty bad, but the savages paid the price. One of the corpses had this drawing on it. Look familiar? <laughs> Doesn't bode well. If that little shit and her traitor mother are working with the reclaimed to locate the reserve, time is not on our side. No more fucking around. We prioritize their capture, and we get that key back. I don't want Mama to worry, so keep this between us for now. Be cautious but aggressive. We stir the herd at 1700. Keep on the hunt till the last minute. The tower will always stand. George. <laughs> Take it easy. I'm here. No one is gonna harm you anymore. <laughs> now you show up. Oh, son of a bitch. Both sides. They came down on me. Same time. Slaughter. But I kept my mouth shut. He didn't get shit out of old Henri. Do me a solid. The bus. All I got, all I've done, don't, don't let it go to waste. I'm begging you, help the kid, huh? Her mom, 50-50 still stands, huh? They get mine, understand? They're the only ones who deserve it. The rest? Drown the motherfuckers. Henri, who are you talking about? So long, waterfall. So long, waterfall.
had an inkling, and by God, I was spot on. The reserve, it's out there. It exists. This jungle I found proves it. Still, so much work to be done. Stones that gotta be overturned, riddles that need solving, waterfall, and frequency 61 has to be connected to the reserve somehow. Command and control, I'm guessing. Uh, that, that's the next step. If I can get this blasted radio repaired, wonder if someone's still inside. As soon as my ankle feels steady, gonna take the skiff to that mansion in the Garden District, where Niles and I recorded the Tipsy Blue record, The Blue Palace. It's my best shot at finding a microphone for the radio. Power is covered with the bus battery, just got connected, antenna too, got encryption covered, can't afford any eavesdroppers. <sighs> slept in three days. These creaky bones are rattling with excitement. So close. I can only imagine what might be in there. <laughs> Grub, meds, weapons, ammo. Oh, haul of a lifetime. <sighs> Set me up for a decade. Could sure use the tourist help, though. Hell, I'd even be willing to split 40, 60. If they make all this easier. <sighs> Hope they show up before it's too late. Getting old. Here. Be careful. 
his walkers around. I have no one else to turn to. My husband, he's turned. He begged me not to let it happen, but I just couldn't pull the trigger. He was all I had left, but I failed him. I, I am so ashamed. Would you be willing to help me out? I just can't bring myself to do it. I need someone else to end this nightmare. I will put him to rest. You will? Thank you. That is so kind. Here, take this key. I locked Ruben in a room. Second floor of the Blue Mansion, just up the street. I noticed your watch. Looks like you've got the alarm in sync with the chiming bells that rile up the walkers every day. Smart. Don't want to be caught out in the open when this place is overrun by the dead. Oh, and um, one last request. Ruben's wedding band. If you could retrieve it, it would mean so much to me. At least I could carry one small token with me. For my children, I have nothing. They're just gone. I never even got to say goodbye.
Maybe Noir is a traitor. Maybe Noir is a liar and a thief. She will say and do anything to further her own selfish agenda. Do not be fooled. She will not help you. She will hurt you. I considered her family. Treated her as if she were my own flesh and blood. Yet she did not hesitate to betray me. She tried to turn my dearest and most loyal friends against me. Oh, her treachery knows no bounds. She is desperate and will do the same to you. Do not be fooled. Maybe Noir is a menace. She should be shunned. If you assist her in any way, you will leave us no choice but to consider you an enemy of the tower. We do not wish this. Do not force our hand. The tower will always stand. Mama.
My dearest Corinne, I lied to you. I am sorry. I had to spare you. A lost hope. Our children died by my hand. I had to set them free to protect them from a fate worse than death. I know you will never be able to forgive me, but maybe one day you will understand that I had no choice. They did not suffer. Take comfort in that, my love. Reuben.
Now is not the time to be selfish. Now is the time to commit to a community, to be part of something. Our vision for the future is rooted in health. It ensures a future for humanity. Cast despair aside. There's no point in clinging to it. Do not commit to isolation. Dedicate yourself to a grander purpose. And you will not be alone. Trust in us to guide you. And we will put our trust in you. Within our walls, you will be safe. Within our walls, your needs will be met. Within our walls, life goes on. The tower will always stand. Mama. <laughs> 